Hello, collective. Welcome back to the Ascended Divination Priestess Channel. You are greatly appreciated. I am sending you all lots of love, joy, peace, and happiness. Many, many blessings to you and your families as always. I return to source. I return to center. All negative energies and intent immediately and permanently. I call in on it the appearance of white light and pray and ask that you stay on it in the highest of vibrational energies. Whatever the enemy has stolen from you, it is returned to you, being returned to you. All evil and negative plans of the enemies against you are dismantled and being dismantled as we speak. As I have said, so shall it be. Judgment is final. Um, so it's like the last few days, I feel like it's been the past week. It's been some type of like really intense, I don't know if it's like anxiety, fear, some type of really intense emotions that somebody is going through. It's like somebody's doing something that they know they shouldn't be doing or they need to let go of, um, but they're still doing it in hopes of getting some type of results that they're just not going to get. Um, so it's like taking actions purposely to either hinder somebody, destroy somebody, but you're not getting the results that you want or you think you are going to get, but you keep going because you somehow believe that if you keep doing something, eventually someone is going to relinquish their, you know, their will, their, 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 their like their survival, I don't know what it is, like their ambition, their determination, perseverance or something. Like someone is just going to let go because you keep doing. But like while this person is doing something, it's like it's just a lot of anger, a lot of like anxiousness, just depression. And it's like someone's energy is very unhealthy. It's like someone's, someone has lost their mental stability emotional stability i don't even think someone can recognize who they are anymore but it, there's something that someone is doing out of anger and i don't i don't know what it is they're doing i feel like it has to do with trying to take something from somebody trying to take someone from somebody trying to block something for someone but while they're doing it it's just like like there's no self-control it's just like it's just like it's like someone is robotic at this point like they just keep doing something repeatedly doing something repeatedly and they're hoping for some type of results but they're not getting the results that they are hoping for or intending so let me see if i can put it into like some type of term, a way where like it can make sense like let's say you work a, a nine to five you work for a company you enjoy your job, you show up every day, do your job and go home. You're like somebody at the job that has some type of access to your files or something, your schedule or something, doesn't like you for whatever reason. You didn't do anything. This is just somebody that does not like you being happy. Happy. It's like a happiness hater. Somebody sees that you're very fruitful, very happy in life, content in life. They want to take that away from you, right? So they come up with a way on how they can hinder you and stop you from being happy, basically, okay? So they start fooling around with your hours. Every day you come to work, you're, you, you are getting less and less hours. You started off working maybe eight hours a day. They had uh, overtime available and you worked a lot of overtime, but all of a sudden they don't have overtime available for you. But you see other people working overtime and it's like, oh, well, this was scheduling events. Okay, so you're like, okay, well, I still got my eight hours. I can work that a day. You come back the next week, uh, they're, they've cut your hours down. And they keep going down and down. Now you're working like maybe four, three to four hours a day. And someone thinks that if they keep going, eventually you'll quit your job. But what you do is you go and find another a job, but you still keep that job. So either way, you still have income coming in. It's something like that. So then this person, they lose control. They say, I'm going to cut all their hours, right? 
They can't cut all your hours, but they start cutting it even more. Now you're working it maybe one hour a day or something, but you, you're fine with it. You say, you know what? I already got another job. This is just a part-time job anyways. I'll come do this, this little uh one to two funky hours and call it a day. If anything ever changes, I'll still be here. You know, I have rapport with the company already. This is longevity, being here for however long. I'm good, okay? But this person don't want you to have that mentality. This is not how they want you to feel that. They want you to be angry. They want you to spaz out. They want you to lose it. They want you to lose your temper, start screaming, doing all kinds of stuff that are not even characteristic of who you are, all right? So lose your emotions, basically. Lose your mind. But you're not. You're seeing something from a higher perspective, and it's pissing somebody up. It could be like a kink of swords. Reverse your pissing up. Like you got a group of people you're actually pissing up behind the scenes. Because this person, whatever they're doing to you, they're not doing it alone. Somebody put them up to it. Okay? And while they, when they put them up to it, why it was just something they were doing initially, it's become something that's being done from an e egotistical place. Like their ego has kicked in. It's like they want to defeat you. And their means of defeating you is like when you quit their job, when you let go, when you stop showing up, when you stop being happy, they've defeated you. But you ain't doing that. So it's just someone don't know what to do. So they're just kind of like a robot, like a, a broken record on repeat. And they keep doing something, hoping that they're going to get some type of result that they're never going to get. Because you're never going to quit your job. It's something like that. Okay? Anyways, let's go ahead and get into this. I've just been picking up on some type of really negative energy it's like somebody is going through something the very reality the very matrix they're trying to put you in they are in that matrix but you're seeing them from outside of the matrix and you're like shoot it looks miserable in there i don't want to be in that matrix i don't know what you thought you was doing and that don't resonate with me so someone's trying to force you into something like they're trying to force something on you like they don't want you to have options or anything like that but the universe is taking care of you Okay, so it said the universe is 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 deading something in your life. I said, listen, we don't know what it is you think you're out here doing. Okay, this is not the destiny we have for this person. So you're gonna have to figure out your situation, or we're gonna take you out. Cause there's something that's been going on for a long time. It says somebody trying to repeatedly block your blessings, block your destiny. Might start dropping like flies in in, in some type of friendship group. Because I see people losing money, people filing for bankruptcy or have will have to file for that. Like something is just out of hand, out of control. So I don't know what this is, but whatever results somebody think they're going to get, you're not getting it. You, you're not getting it. I'm telling you, like the universe is going to step in every time to balance something out. If someone's trying to steal something free from you, like say, uh, for example, you write a book. And the person go and copy, write your book. That's your intellectual property. But they've done it in such a, cra such a crafty way that people will start thinking that the book actually belongs to them. They were the originator, the writer, the original writer of the book. But they didn't write the book. They didn't write the book. But they want people to believe that they wrote that book. So now they have to go all out trying to destroy you, uh, slender your character, defame you, tell people that you are uh, a thief, you plagiarize your work, all kinds of stuff, knowing that very well it's not true. They took something from you. They stole something from you. But they don't want to admit that. Their ego is kicking in. But eventually people find out that person is a fraud. So it's just somebody's doing something, and it's going to lead to them losing everything. They want you to lose everything. They're about to lose everything. This is how it was always destined to be. Someone told someone to do something. All they had to do, there was someone wise in a community or in somebody's life. And they told them to stop doing something. They didn't listen. It's like somebody's ego kicked in. I just heard something about a, like you are a feminine energy they're coming after. Or you could be a masculine. I don't know what it is. But they saw you and they didn't expect something to be so difficult. They didn't expect it to be so difficult to take something from you. So they thought they were just going to go in. You know how entitled people are, narcissists are. They just come in and take something from you and they feel like you, you, you're, you'll be fine. You don't need it. I deserve it. I didn't work for it, but I deserve it. They don't even think the, the whole aspect of I didn't work for it doesn't even kick in. It doesn't resonate with them. They just feel like they deserve it, so they should have it. 
So it's something like that. It's something like that. It's a whole collaboration. You could have somebody that wants to return to you, but you don't have any fond memories of the past. Uh, you could have people that do not want someone thinking very fondly of you. Maybe you have someone that wants to work with you, partner up with you. Maybe this is a past life connection or something. Maybe you're not privy to this. Um, but there could be something where it's like you have someone from the past that wants to reconnect, but you don't have any like happy memories of the past. Something, Some type of experience you have with someone a place, a group of people, or something was absolutely difficult. A lot of negative uh, experiences and things like that. A lot of negative emotions. Something may have like left you like really emotionally distressed. Like something may have even broken you down. But you had to build yourself back up through all of those experiences. And now maybe people want to call me and say, "Hey, we want to heal things with you." Like you're, you're like, I'm not on that time. Like you're not holding any type of spite, any type of maliciousness for these people. But you're like, I'm not on that time. Like, you know, work it out amongst yourself. You got together to create whatever uh, a matrix this is for yourself. You uh, you all figure it out. But I'm not on that time. Like, we're on a whole nother level. We don't move on with our lives. Move on with yours. It's something like that. So you could have people from your past wanting to connect with you, want you to let your guard down. They don't want you to be so defensive towards them. They don't want you to feel like you got to protect yourself from, from them. You may even have somebody amongst these people wondering, like, why is this person so overprotective of themselves? Why are they so, like, reluctant on connecting with these people? And they're going to find out or they're finding out. They say, it ain't no good memories with these people or this person, place, or thing. That's why a light worker probably don't want to connect with them. Okay? But someone from your past... They know you don't have any good memories of them. People from your past, some of they know. And because some type of justice is going in your favor, this may be why these people want to come and get connected to you. It ain't because of a genuine reason. It's not because they're sorry or nothing like that. They're not sorry for what they did to you or what they tried to do to you. Some of you, they try to take you out, cause you a lot of distress and, loss and things, losses and things like that. Have people leave you out in the cold cause you financial loss and burdens and things like that and now they want to come back in and say oh you know it was just a misunderstanding and blah 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 it was no misunderstanding you are uh malicious as heck and it was intentional it wasn't it, I, I, I always get upset when people are quick to say it was a mistake it wasn't a mistake a mistake is wearing your shirt backwards it, a mistake is forgetting to take the trash out uh, a mistake is not paying attention to where you're going and stumping your toes. That's a mistake. Okay? A mistake is not doing something for years, something for months and weeks, repeatedly trying to destroy somebody. That's not a mistake. That's something that is intentional. You are trying to get some type of results. Okay? You don't put a whole mathematical equation or formula together and you're just waiting to get the answer. That's all. It was not a mistake. It was intentional. So I don't know why people are quick to say, oh, it was a mistake. It was a misunderstanding. When when the truth come out, comes out and things don't go their way and they know now everything is about to be taken from there or they're losing everything, right? Oh, it was a mistake. It was a misunderstanding for you. It was, but for the rest of us with common sense, it wasn't. It wasn't. Okay? So someone's trying to... Find out also who's maybe protecting you or whatever, how you're able to defend yourself. They don't want you being defended. They don't want you defending yourself. They don't want somebody helping you. Nothing. Okay? <clears throat> so someone could be, and, and, and it goes along with what I was saying when I started. Like someone is going through a lot of intense emotions behind the scenes. Like someone is very angry behind the scenes. Okay? Like, I don't even know, I don't know if someone even, like, is thinking about letting something go. It's like, I don't know if somebody is crying behind the scenes. Because something is just not destined to go the way they want it to go. It says somebody's trying to destiny swipe. And she got people, or he has people helping them to destiny swipe. It don't work that way. It said, oh, that ten of pentacles. We should have that ten of pentacles. It belongs to us. But you didn't do no work to get the ten of pentacles. You didn't put in no effort to acquire the Ten of Pentacles. So the Ten of Pentacles don't belong to you. But it's a bunch of lunatics that don't got together because they don't have any type of creativity spark because these are people that don't want to do the work to go within. 
They want to take your ten of pentacles or they want to take whatever offer that's supposed to come towards you. Ace of pentacles offer, they wanted to go to someone that's karmic, having done the work. It don't work that way. It don't matter how many people you get together on your bandwagon to steal from somebody. If the universe has not destined that, if the source has not destined that to come into fruition, it's not coming into fruition. No matter how long it takes, that the, the time that it's taking while you're trying to steal from that person, that time is being used to grow that person, progress that person in a different way until whatever it is that you're trying to steal from them, mix it to them. So you're wasting your time. You're not going to wake up one day and the, one of the most highest uh, vessels, right, just flat out let go of your destiny and say, mm, you know what, that car makes you want to take my destiny, I'm done. Nah. Nah. So it's a lot of animosity behind the scenes, a lot of anger, a lot of overindulgence. Someone is overindulging in something, and this has to do with trying to steal from you, trying to block you, trying to destroy you, trying to hurt you, cause you some type of painful ending. Somebody wants you to be seen as mentally sick, sick mentally un un unstable, and things like that, but that's not how the story is going. That is not your storyline. Anybody that believes that a light worker is sick is somebody that's typically not ready yet. On their journey, they're not they're not ascending, they're not ascending, they're stuck at some type of low vibrational energy. So if you tell them that light worker is sick, who says things like that? Who does things like that? That means they're not awakening. You're not awakening yet. So somebody is bothered behind the scenes about an empress energy, okay? Keeping something that belongs to them, like. Or, or taking something that belongs to them. Having control of something that belongs to them. Their work. Something you've worked and built. And this is the guy's honest truth. Something you've worked and built. Somebody is living in fear of you having control of it. It's like, this is mine. So we didn't build this together. I don't know you from Adam. The heck do you think you you and I are supposed to have something together or you're supposed to be benefiting from something I've built? That uh, That's not how it works. But somebody, somebody has a sense of entitlement. They said, oh, I deserve that. This person doesn't know what they're doing, but they're the one that built the freaking thing you're trying to steal. So which one is it? It says somebody's in, I don't know if this is somebody that's in, that's in like a girl fight with, a, with another person, but the person they're in a girl fight with is not aware of them. It's like, it's like they don't even exist. It's like having an opponent that does not exist. You are your own, like, like someone is up against a light worker, but the light worker is not aware of them. <clears throat> It's like you're in a whole different arena of your own somewhere else. Not around this person or these people. But she's in some type of competition with you. First of all, light workers don't compete compete for nothing. When it comes to like pr proving their worth, their skills, their talents, their, they don't compete for none of that. It's not a competition. Okay, because you'll be left heartbroken every time if they even decide to indulge in their competition. So I don't know who this is, but you got some growing up to do. You're competing with yourself. Someone's trying to father some type of narrative that they're the better option. And this is someone that's trying to use their sexuality to get what it is they want out of somebody. I, I told you all in the other reading, two readings ago, there's a woman, a man is telling. Or somebody is telling nobody wants to partner up with you because you come with a lot of troubles. I heard a man say that to somebody in the dream state while I was waking up. I heard a, a man say that to somebody. Nobody wants to work with you. Nobody wants to partner up with you because you come with a lot of troubles. Why you come with troubles? Because you've been stealing from people. You've been stealing from people. That That's what it is. You don't got no talent because you don't want to look into thyself and go find out what your talent are. 
talent is or talents are. You could be someone that's multifaceted, but you're so low vibrational, you'll never know because you're too busy stealing from people. All you care about is getting the money. You don't care about the work, the, the love of the work, the inspiration, nothing. The, the, the emotional aspect, mental aspect of the work, you don't care about none of that. You just want the money that comes after the work. He says, skip the work, where's the money? That ain't how it works. That is not how it works. So, you could have people trying to figure out a plan who, of a, either a masculine or they're trying to figure out uh, uh, your plan, what you're about to do, who you're going towards. Because you going towards someone is going to put an end to some type of uh, competition. And I don't know why there's a competition. You got a group of people competing with one person. It don't even make no sense. It doesn't even make no sense to be to be this ridiculous out here. And they're all living in fear of you receiving this what is a pentacle. So they're taking what impulsive actions to stop a ten of pentacles from happening in your life. Okay? Trying to stop you. Okay? Stop you from listening to your intuition. Stop you from having charge or taking direction in your life. As above, so below. So they don't want things being balanced out for you. But it is definitely being balanced out for you. You will receive this offer, this partnership, whatever this is. And people can be mad about it all they want. But this is what you deserve. This is what you've worked for. It's like there's somebody... Someone, there's a group of people that have been doing something where it's like they're benefiting off of you being isolated, you being in poverty, you being rejected, you having nothing, you, them causing you a lot of natural disaster because they want somebody to believe that you're not naturally abundant, but you are. So it's like they're destroying the resources in your life, lives, the relationships in your lives. So that it can seem like you are the problem, but you're not causing nobody pro anybody problems. You keep to yourself. So something is intentional. Like I said, it's not a mistake. Somebody wants you. People want you to believe it's a mistake because whatever they've been doing has come back to bite them in the behind. Somebody's losing a lot of money behind the scenes over what it is they're doing to you. Somebody's losing their health behind what it is they're doing to you. Someone's about to lose their home, their security, and all kinds of stuff for the impulsive and reckless actions they took against you, trying to confuse people, confuse people about you, your character, who you are, and things of that nature, and trying to cause you some type of distress or cause some type of distress to your plans. Your plans to what? Be in love, live a fruitful life, live, in, live a happy life. Being, being victorious and things like that. They don't want you being victorious in love, but someone is about to be out here confused, hurt, brokenhearted because you're going to get all the above. Love, happiness, joy, peace, abundance, family, whatever it is you, your heart desires. Because something is your birthright. Those are all your birthrights. You're going to heal, okay? You're going to be leaving a karmic situation. You may end up partnering up with an emperor that's living in distress, feeling left out in the cold, feeling like he lost some type of relationship with a queen of swords and things like that. Um, and it's because of actions he took, so he's going to have to take accountability. But somebody will be walking away from a situation, okay? Whoever they've been trying to stop from self-actualizing is a king of pentacles. They don't want self-actualizing. And this is someone that's a business leader, very successful, and wants to invest or work with you. Maybe they have a business plan. Maybe you came up with something uh, uh, that he sees potential in, and he wants to come towards you to work with you on that. And it's going to be successful with this three of wands out here. Like somebody is waiting for their, sales, for their ship to seal in. As soon as they connect with you, he says, shoot, let's, let's make this money. Let's get, get this money. So people are disappointed because this man is still waiting to work with you. It's like they've done everything to make you seem unfit. And it took a long time for someone to see the truth about the situation. But now he sees it. He's like, I already made my decision. I'm going to go with the light worker. I'm going to see for myself. You said you're unfit. I'm going to see for myself. You're, you said they're in, inadequate. I'm going to see for myself. You said they're mentally unstable. I'm going to see for myself. Took him a while to get there. Maybe this is somebody that just works, works, and works. 
and don't pay attention to what it is that's going on around him. But he's going to see for himself when it comes to you. He's going to see for himself because this is someone that's doing inner work. And he's hoping to work with you, wishing to work with you. Like somebody's decision has been made and it's final. There's nothing these people can do to change it. But they want to keep trying. And somebody's causing themselves a lot of distress behind the scenes. I'm telling you, and they're going to stay stuck. Someone's having a hard time self-actualizing, healing, moving on. Someone may end up passing away as well in this group, this community, whatever it is. This is the karma these people are reaping. I ain't here to feel sorry for nobody. You, you reap what you sow in life, and that's applicable to every one of us, light workers included. Nobody is exempt from karma. You reap what you sow in life. So somebody may end up passing away because they just don't know how to let go. They're trying to stop the, 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 the will of God in your life. It's a, what God has destined for you, somebody don't want you to have. So God says, hey, you know what? Look, 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 look. I'm about fed up. You know when your parents get fed up with the, 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 the mischievous kid in the, in the family? And say, I've had enough of your nonsense, Johnny. That's it. Where's the belt? Pa, 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 pa. Except this belt. You going back home. Six of, so six of swords in the reverse. That's, <laughs> you're going back home. This could be somebody you had a past life connection with. Okay? They just don't get it. I, I don't know who's about to pass away, but somebody is going to be going home. Okay? So, not only do you, do you not have any fond memories of this person, but this is somebody that's stuck. They don't want you and somebody meeting. They say this meeting cannot take place. We need to figure out how to stop this person from moving on, from uh, connecting with this person, from meeting with this person. So it's not that somebody is not going to meet with you, but it's that they're going to put it off for right, for right now because it's just too much drama going on. So right now they're going to take time to figure things out, come up with a strategic plan on how to connect with you. But you're still going to receive what is yours. Okay, you're still going to receive what is yours. Someone is thinking about it. Whoever is coming towards you is a planner. With that three of wands, that's a planner. That's a planner. Okay. You could have also someone trying to figure out how to keep you stuck, have you left out in the cold. Like they don't want this person coming towards you. So they want you to be defensive even when this person comes towards you. They say, you are part of that nonsense. Why, why would I work with you? Why would I partner up with you? Listen, whatever energy is supposed to take place, it'll take place. And if it's meant to be resolved, it'll be resolved. But someone wants you to be very defensive. Someone does not want you to be like uh, understanding when somebody comes towards you. They want you to be very combative. Very, very combative. Okay. You may have someone that's trying to even, uh, 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 like, fight you when you're on your way to somewhere. Like, I don't know what kind of mindset these people have. It's very childish. And these are, oftentimes, this is how it is when you don't do the work to go within thyself, to see things from the perspective that you're supposed to. You got somebody wanting to fight you. It said, oh, they're going to be going over here on this date and time. I'm going to meet them and it's going to be on site. On site for what? Because you try to steal from somebody and you couldn't steal from them. Or you try to take somebody from someone and the universe is not allowing there. Or you felt entitled to uh, 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 offer an opportunity and somebody said they're not giving it to you. You're so desperate to prove that you're the right option, but you don't realize every action you're taking is just proving more and more that you're not the right option. And you don't, you won't know that because you don't want to heal. It says somebody, somebody has been groomed to put themselves out there to be an empress so that they can get some type of opportunity. This is a queen of cups reverse or a queen of wands reverse. It says if I just keep pretending to be this empress, he's going to choose me. He ain't going to choose you. Somebody already made the decision. That's why you haven't received whatever it is yet. How long you been waiting? Don't hold your breath. Don't hold your breath. That somebody has already made their decision and it's final. You know that when it says sign, seal, deliver? Yeah, that's what that man is. 
He done signed you and delivered it in his head. And you're there still trying to manipulate him. This could be a queen of pentacles reverse as well. It's trying to manipulate a man to give her an opportunity. And he's just looking at you. You got me fooled up in one in too many ways. Like, I don't, I, I see what you're about. It's trying to coerce. This could be a woman that uses her body to get attention. So if you end up laying with her now, she feels that she has some type of advantage over you. Like, oh, we had... We had uh, an affair. I hope you remember that we had an affair because now she can trap you. If you sleep with her, she can trap you. Blackmail you. If you don't do this, I'm going to tell the community you and I had uh, SEX together. And she was probably recording it too while you all were doing it. It's blackmail. So she could be trying to seduce this man and it's not working. He said, uh, let me get the heck away from you. And that's his justice to get away. Like, because he's listening to his intuition. He, babe, come on. Is that somebody is dressing? I see a woman that's just desperate for attention. And she's dressing a specific way. Trying to make sure that a masculine sees her. So he can be tempted to go and jump in bed with her. And it's like, it's not working. The man is too disciplined for her. And I keep hearing someone say that he's too... He's too disciplined. He's too strong. That's what she said. He's too strong. And then there's a there's a man. I don't know if this is like a King of Swords reverse. This this mother effer is too strong. We're gonna have to figure something else out. Yeah, go figure something else out. It's not gonna work. They're fighting. The karmics are fighting again. Always. The karmics are always fighting. So this meeting is gonna be postponed. Uh, whatever this is, and it's for a reason. Maybe it's not time yet, whatever it is. Okay. They may even want someone to go back to the past. If he's not going to get with this Queen of Pentacles reverse, maybe they want him to go back to the past. He don't want to go to the past. Right now, he's, he's postponing his journey to you. Like someone is, in, maybe he's trapped in his mind that you're going to reject him or something. Whatever he's in his mind about do not got nothing to do with what these people are saying. He already knows what they're doing. What he's wondering is, is she going to turn me down? Is she going to want to work with me? Is she going to want to partner up with me? It's what he's worried about. He ain't worried about nothing else but partnering up with you in the right time. Okay? So... Something is about to turn around for you. If people were trying to stop you from being seen, from being heard, uh, blah, 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 blah. Having resources, connections, and things like that. All of that is coming to an end. Like, you're not you're not going to be in like anymore. You're not going to be, uh, uh in, like, on, in some type of scarcity mindset or whatever it is, if, if some of you are. And that's not something I ever... Uh, advocate for people to have obviously living in a scarcity mindset you're supposed to be in a two of wands right that unlimited uh, potential limitless possibility open-minded about the possible things that can happen for you you can manifest whatever you want okay so if you have someone if you are someone with a scarcity mindset let go of that sucker because that's how you're blocking your manifestations you're limiting yourself and that's how people want you to be in life and when they're intimidated by you and jealous of you, that's what they'll do. Start creating scarcity tactics in your life or using scarcity tactics in your life. This is when you have two-faced people in families, friendship groups, and things like that. They'll talk to you about one thing and then go to someone else and say, oh, this is what they're planning to do. This is what they're planning to do. Here's their number. Block this number. Da -da 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 -da. You got to be careful. Don't limit yourself. Some of you are being betrayed by people you would have never thought would scoop that low. But this was, again, this period of waiting where these people are taking this action. It's a period of exposure and growth. The universe is exposing people's true character to you. And they're helping you grow through these experiences, all these betrayals. So don't view something as the end of you or that you're going through some type of horrible ending or something like you're going through an ending but it's the ending of death and rebirth okay you're going through transformation this is a transformational season for you cycle for you so let these people keep exposing themselves I mean I, if i told you all half of the stuff i've gone through or go through or am going through you won't even believe that sucker with people that I like, I've trusted since I was like a not even a teenager, but 
out of that is because you got to go through what? That growth and preparation, exposure. You're being prepped for the next cycle of your life, chapter of your life. So you will be seen, you will be heard, you will be admired, you will be in the public eye for some of you that are meant to be in the public eye, okay? You could have something that's being exposed about a betrayal. There's a king of cups that, uh, reverse that's about to be going through some type of ending, baby. Whatever this man is going through, I don't even want to imagine it. Tenosaurus to the uh, king of cups reverse, death to the king of cups reverse. Something is over. It's, it's the end of this person paying to have you stuck. To have your connections stuck. Connections blocked. Opportunities blocked. Networking opportunities blocked. Someone from either your past. I don't know if you're familiar with this person. This could be someone you were in a relationship before with. Or you had a family with. Or someone you worked with. Someone you were friends with. Whoever this is. This is someone that's about to be going through some type of karma. For paying to have you blocked or stuck. It's like, I need you to keep this person stuck. Keep them trapped. Been having a queen of wands, like an empress energy stuck. And they're about, he's about to lose everything. The, the endings for this person. And he never saw this coming. Someone, someone smeared you. Like, he wanted you stuck in some type of karmic chapter, karmic contract with him. But the karmic contract is over. Like, somebody... Smear your name to people in a way where it made him look like the victim. So in reality, and I know in the light working community, we don't call ourselves victim, but I'm just using that, that word to emphasize and reiterate what it is I'm, uh, I'm trying to say. Somebody switched roles. He flipped roles. He manipulated people so well that they thought he was the victim in the situation. So they started coming after the actual victim, i.e. you. And supporting him. And they didn't know somebody was too fisted the whole time. Someone is a, 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 a like a social climber. Whoever he deems worthy to, you know, help him get to where he needs to be or give him, get him money. That's his friend for that moment. This is somebody that's very opportunistic. And it doesn't have to be somebody you were in a relationship with. It could just be somebody you worked with at a company. It could be somebody you went to school with, went to church with, whatever this is. But somebody is about to be going through some type of ending. It's that, that you reap what you sow in life. What goes around comes around. It's what this is. And it's double on that. What goes around comes around. Because we got the ten of swords to the death. To the ten, uh, king of cups. So maybe this ain't something he can escape. And then he, he's out here full of cups unhappy. Why he, why is he unhappy? Because he paid to have you stuck in a karmic contract. That you probably didn't even uh, 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 know about. I don't know if somebody forced your name or something. Or maybe somebody figured you and him had a, a, a twin flame connection. Or you two were twin flames or something. And he's been blocking your lo your, your love life. Your, your, your business life, resources, finances, and things like that. So he can benefit off of it. And now, the tables are turning. The tables have turned. And he's about to be going... Baby, I don't even, Listen. If this is your twin flame, I don't know how you and him... What terms you and him are on. Send him some positive light or something. Because, baby, whatever he's been going... He's about to be going through or he's going through. Nothing short of a nightmare. And that's justice for you. Yeah, he wants you trapped in some type of karmic relationship. So now that he's going through some type of ending, he's not able to come in and rekindle anything with you. He's trying to pay for someone to be toxic to you. It said, you're going to go with this person. Uh, we, I need you to do this to them. This is how you treat them. This is how you manipulate them. You gaslight them, play with their emotions and things like that. That ain't none of your, that's not your destiny, darling. Whoever is supposed to be with you is going to love you. They're going to be cre like crazy about you. Okay. Crazy about you. You could even have a, a someone behind the scenes that you don't know is paying 
to have something looked into, a toxic community looked into, some type of investigation taking place, some type of exposure. You want, and then you got somebody that wants the truth to be hidden. You said, please don't talk to anyone about this. We could face legal issues. I think that was the reason why they looked into it. <laughs> that was the reason why they looked into it because they knew you all were causing some type of illusion. And that's the truth. They knew you all were causing some type of illusion about somebody. Yeah, you didn't want somebody to be seen or heard. You don't want people looking into something. Okay? You don't want someone to be seen as quick-witted. A whole community is about to find something out. This queen, King of Cups reverse was trying to keep you hidden. Okay? So it's a, let's, with this page of uh, source out here, it's a social media card, so I'm going to use this as an example. Let's say you're on a social media platform. You produce beautiful content. Your content is fairly unique, right? People enjoy it. So what this person is doing is having you slow down or blocked or something, right? Hitting shadow ban or something like that. So that this community cannot find out about you. Okay? So if they don't find out about you, he keeps causing a uh, destruction in your life. Taking from you, stealing from you, blocking and things like that. While you're living in poverty, he's gaining off of your back. He's gaining off of you. So he's living on La Vita Loca. But you're, 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 you're living somewhere maybe with, with, with a, a partner, a children, whatever, family, struggling to make ends meet. And he's living a good life. And the universe is that, oh, you got us effed up in one and two many ways. We're about to settle the scores. Ten of swords to the death for you. That means he can recover from this. It's the end of him sabotaging your, your, your presence. It's the end of him lying about your mental state. Because somebody told people you were mentally unstable. You were delusional. That's the word somebody uses. Oh, that person is this delusional. They're mentally unstable. She's crazy. He's crazy. I'm telling you, this person is crazy. You believe me what, what I'm telling you. I've known them since way back or something like that. They are crazy. They don't know what they're talking about. They don't know what they're doing. They stole this from somebody. It's all freaking bogus. So somebody's being exposed. It's going to be like, you told us this person was this. Why'd you say all of that? Man, you're, man, you're crazy. Like, something is wrong. Like, somebody's about to go off on, on, on a masculine. Somebody's about to go off on a masculine. It's a queen of pentacles is about to be going through a quorum antenna for the queen of pentacles. She ain't doing too, too well. <laughs> and while she's going through karma, she's still planning on how to sabotage you. Because somebody is just... Like, this is not somebody you can save. This is someone that's very just financially motivated. Done lost all her money, about to be filing for bankruptcy or is going through bankruptcy. Okay? Like, she, she's in need of finances now. This is a woman that was saying she got all the money in the world. To keep blocking somebody. I like I don't told this woman since January. I started this channel January the 26th of this year. Okay. My channel took off quickly and then somebody got in there and started tempering with it. It is what it is. Maybe we're still going to be showing up every day and working on this channel. Anyways, I've been told her since January to let something go. You don't you you're not going to get the outcome that you want. This, whatever opportunity this is, it's not going to you. Whatever partnership this is, it's not coming to you. You're going to lose money. You're going to end up out here in the cold. You may end up homeless. Don't do this to yourself. Nah. She said she was going to. I'm telling you all the truth. I told this woman she wasn't going to get something. It's that people that come and watch Divinationals, they don't take us serious, but while you're watching... It's for entertainment purposes, purposes, excuse me. But there's a reason why you've been so intent on watching every freaking uh, practitioner you can find on YouTube. Because you know something we said was the truth, but you just didn't listen. And you got some type of uh, Bible thumper behind the scenes uh, coming after someone because what? Oh, whatever they do. 
like a Bible thumper coming after a practitioner. Oh, this is against the will of God. Did God tell you it was it was against his will? Do you even know what the will of God is? Your hypocritical mess. The, the dumb Christianity said that everyone is the same in the eyes of God. Uh, we're all the children of God. This Queen of Pentacles, whoever this is, is being rejected by people. She, she don't even know what is going on amongst a group of friends. They may not even be wanting to partner up with her anymore. It's like they're rejecting this woman. Okay? She don't know their plans. I see their plans right here and I ain't gonna tell her. But she don't know what it is that's going on. She's trying to figure it out. She used to be the it girl in the community. But now people don't want to partner up with this woman because of... Something she's been doing. I don't know if they told her to let go of something or she kept pretending like she had let go of something, but she was still doing it behind the scenes and the community has found out and they don't want to be associated associated with this woman. It said, you come with a lot of uh, troubles. That's probably who they were talking to in my, uh, my, my, my Claire audience thing that I heard. Nobody wants to partner up with you because you come with a lot of trouble because someone has been living a double life. You're out here stealing from people, destroying families and things like that. And you don't care how your actions affect people. And then you think everybody is still going to be hanging out with you. Still seeing you as a leader. Still giving you access to company funds that you are mismanaging. Misappropriation of, of, of companies' funds. You, like This woman don't care how her action affects people, families. This is someone that don't care about family. But we pretend to. Family means everything to me. But yet you're out here destroying families. Make it make sense. Does family really mean so much to you? Because you have a family, other people have family. Your family is not the only one that's important. So if family is important to you, then you will absolutely make sure that you're not tempering with other people's families. In any way, shape, or form. Whether it's a single father uh, income you're taking away or trying to destroy. You know they got he got kids to take care of. Whether it's a single mother. Whether it's a married couple. You, you, you know not to temper with that. Because family value is something that is irreplaceable. You can't be out here talking about you're doing something because of family. But yet you're destroying another family. Make it make sense. It's hypocritical to be that way. You've been stealing from a family, blocking a family, destroying families. I'm saying, uh, like you, you haven't done this before. You've done this before. You've destroyed lots of families before. There's a couple that's working with you all that have been doing this, destroying families. Because when you're tick, the thing people don't understand, whether this is a nine to five, you're destroying. Whether this is a, a, a platform you're destroying, a content creator's platform you're destroying, whether this is some, somebody's book you're destroying, it's not just that one person is affecting. It's, a, it's affecting the, the, the people behind that person. So if they have families, they have children, your actions are affecting those children. They're affecting those family members. Why don't you all ever think of things like that? You just see somebody, you don't like them, you hate them. And then you 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 just take any action to destroy them. You don't you, you you don't care about anybody but yourself. As long as you eat, you're good. It's a dog eat dog world, right? Because if we stay on that stay under that mentality, yeah, life is going to uh, to change. It's the, the system is never going to uh, uh you know uh, uh stop being broken. It's a dog eat dog world. You got to get them before they get you. The Medea kind of vibe. If they get me, get me. I got to I gotta get them, get them, get them. But nobody got you, got you, got you, ma'am. You came out here to steal from somebody, to block somebody, take from somebody. How can you be talking about family is important? You're a queen of pentacles for God's sake. Well, queen of pentacles reverse. Family is supposed to be like the most important thing to your family business, being a wife and a mother and things like that. And you're out here destroying families. But you want to preach family values. It's based on principle. I'm telling you that they're trying to destroy my family. I'm, like, cu cu cut it. Cu cu cut it. You know very well nobody to did anything to you and your family. Nobody took nothing from you. In your mouth, I told you in one of my readings, you're going to fix your mouth. 
you are going to use the very mouth you've been using to lie. You're going to use that very mouth to confess the truth. You can keep being pretending to be wholesome all you want. You're not wholesome. Somebody is like stalking divinationers, practitioners, terror readers, <clears throat> trying to find the scope, trying to find information, can't find the information they're looking for. Like, she can't find it. There's some type of secret she's trying to find out. She can't find it. That if I can find this out, the whole community is going to believe that I got the tea. I got the You ain't going to find nothing. Because we're all learning to keep some stuff to ourselves. What we see, what we don't see in these cards, we're going to keep to ourselves. We'll tell you what we need to. If if the source they don't tell on their head, should we, we ain't telling you nothing. You're going, to figure, you're going to find out for yourself. Like your karma, you're going to find out for yourself. We can tell you it's a ten of source to you. But, hey... What exactly is the Ten of Swords? What exactly is the Ten of Swords? Yeah, somebody's trying to tempt this man into some type of situation. Is that if if he falls into lust, sir, whoever you are, do not lower your standards. Because you're coming up across as somebody that's disciplined. Because this woman has been trying you for a while. Do not lower your standards. You better not. You, you, you had better not. Yeah, somebody thinks that she dresses a certain way. He notices her. Then he's going to sleep with her. And then he's going to give her an opportunity. It's kind of like those women are very easy to get with. Uh, they, think, they think like if they can get the boy to choose her or the man to choose her, then that means she's better than you. No, no, no. That means you were cheap to get. You were easy to get. That's why he went right to you. you, you so I'm talking like sometimes in situations, you'll have a man got his eyes on two women. The two women are somehow aware of each other. And maybe they both like him or maybe one is not even aware that he likes her. But the one that the one that is aware, the cheap one, she'll start doing all kinds of stuff to get his attention. Okay, she wants him to believe that she's the ideal woman. So she'll start sabotaging the other woman just so that man can get with her. And the whole time, the other woman ain't even paying either of them attention. They said, okay, I didn't know we were in a competition. I don't compete for men. By all means, go ahead and have him. Something like that. Not realizing the whole time they're looking cheap doing that stuff. Yeah, it's a toxic couple out here want to take some type of impulsive action. I don't know if these are people that are into like one night stands, whatever night nice stands, two nights, nice, whatever the heck this is. This is a very toxic couple. They don't even get along, argue all the time, stuck. People that don't, both of them are on heel. They've, they've been out here taking some type of reckless action to... Take from you, block you, do whatever, lie on you, defame you. Maybe say you had an affair or you were in a three-way relationship with them. Never did anything of the sort. This is a, a freaking malicious couple. And you got people that are upset and angry because you and whoever wants to partner up with you are going to end up partnering up together. Like I said, it don't matter how long you do something, how many people you get on the bandwagon, what the universe deems is destiny is going to play out. Destiny will always play out. It don't matter how you feel about it. And it's somebody in this scenario that's embarrassed for being part of it. You can't be that embarrassed if you keep doing something over and over. I shouldn't be doing this. But been doing something for however long they've been doing it. You're not that embarrassed. Calm down. You're not that. Come on. You are not that embarrassed. I can't believe I participated in this. I should be doing the right thing. What? How long, how long you been participating? And you've been telling yourself, I need to walk away from this. But you keep 
Like, come on. There's something here people that someone tells people it's it's be edgy a little. And then something has turned into like something really serious. They don't want to be edgy anymore. They're desperate to keep something hidden. Like the world can never find out we did this. The world is gonna find out exactly what you did. Somebody be edgy. Someone thinks whatever they're doing is being edgy. Okay, bullying is being edgy, apparently. Bullying is being edgy. You got somebody watching you, and they're in some type of remorse. I don't know if somebody's listening to you, watching you, however. And they're in remorse. It's that somebody feels like they lost some type of really, really important relationship. Somebody's have to going to have to cut their losses and move on. I, and I don't know who this is. Okay? I don't know what kind of action a couple took or a community took or institution took against you. But it led to some type of loss for them. You got the Queen of Pentacles reverse crying. Whatever action these people took. That was the choice they made, okay, to stop you from growing, stop you from healing, stop you from elevating in life, knowing very well it was unjustifiable. But these are the kind of people like that like to use the word principle, family, ethical, morale, good, right. They know how to use all the right words to play on people's emotions. It's a, that queen of swords that, 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 that mentors people on how to do, what to do. It's like, this is how you play with your emotions. This is how you say this. Uh, this is how you act like you don't know what they're talking about. This is how you... Da, 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 da. Uh, she'll even give you examples and things like that. Yeah, because she's been doing it for a long time. That's her talent. That's her talent. That's her talent. Okay? Someone is living in regret for stopping some type of fresh start for you. I don't know you were supposed to have some type of uh, 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 new start, new beginning or something. And someone took action to stop it. They said, no, they can't have that. No, I said no. This mother effer can't have this. Okay? And now they're in remorse and say, why did I partake in this? It could be even a couple that's out here trying to figure out, why did we participate in this? Why, why? You could even have a toxic couple that's about to go through some type of transition. Like, man, we can't live like this anymore. We need to change our ways. Being toxic their entire marriage, but now they're seeing things differently. So we got, we got to fix things. You got someone that's coming out of a toxic relationship into um, a healthy one. I don't know who this masculine is that's listening to his intuition to let go of something toxic so he can have some type of uh, rebirth in love and things like that. I don't know what this is. Could be a king of pentacles that's going through some type of healing or recovery. Listening to his intuition. And the fact that he's listening to his intuition is causing distress for other people. Is that we got to cause disturbance. You got to stop this person from self-actualizing. They don't want him thinking about what it is they're saying. This is like people when they have some type of malicious plan or they're on, they're doing some type of trickery. Like, because these are tricksters, right? Let's say you're sitting in an office and working and they know whatever they're about to ask you to do. It's probably just, it's probably stupid. It's going to compromise you or something. They'll try to get you to do something in a hurry. Or they'll all set up some type of scenario. They're all in on one person will come and say something to you and it's like, oh my gosh, I got to go and fix this. Really? That's what's going on? Now, you don't know the whole time they set up this scenario and they're all watching you take action to fix something that they already know is not broken or what's not supposed to be broken just so they can get some type of laugh out of it. Like just immature people, just, just really Im insecure as heck. And they all get a thrill out of this. But you look at them, it's like a whole group of people, like a whole institution just does this normally. Like, it's just okay. Nobody sees the problem. A whole family? Okay. Like, you all just get together and decide, oh, we're going to be bullies. It's the family tradition. Since when is bullying a tradition? 
Since when? Since when is stealing a tradition? Since when is plotting to take somebody out a tradition? Since when is being a narcissist a tradition? Since when? Did, did the rest of us miss something in life? Like we missed that boat? We missed the train or something? Because these are a group of people that are just narcissistic. A, 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 a group of like fake friends. They're friends when they are planning on how to destroy other people's lives. They don't have anything in common. These are people that have probably been together or around each other for decades and things like that. But don't like each other one bit at all. It, 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 they can go from celebrating, oh, we took the star seat down to F Maria. Maria was right there working along with them to take the star seat down. But if Maria needs help or Maria got something to say, Maria is hurting F Maria. Yeah, I don't give a F about Maria. But these are the kind of people coming after you. Come on. He said, whatever they invest in, make sure it don't become nothing. Make sure they don't start nothing new. They don't receive any opportunities. If they apply for jobs, call their company and tell them that they are problematic. And the whole time you don't even see how you look. You're trying to get yourself a lawsuit. There's a reason why companies, they say, any, any company call for a reference, you can only say this and this. Or some of them, they just tell you what on the references. Like, why, why are you trying to... Come on. Come on. Yeah, this union is coming together in due time. And it's going to be coming in quick. <laughs> sorry. To, I'm not sorry because... These light workers deserve, I mean, deserve to be happy. Everybody deserves to be happy. But when you get out here, okay, when you get out here thinking that you are the the, 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 the source of all that is and will ever be, and you have the power to determine somebody's destiny, you're going to have somebody live in life so that you can keep living comfortably. You got source fucked up in one and too many ways. And he, she, it is going to check you real quick and i said he she it because everybody has a different perspective of what they think the source is source is a light energy for me so it's a it okay some people they say he some people say she it is what it is source is a pure light energy for me and that's all i keep it at and that's the truth okay pure love that's all source is. Pure love, which is pure light. Some of you won't even believe the extent these people went to. Some of these people don't force your signatures on things, on documents and stuff like that. Just to make something look like it was true. Someone, some, Somebody committed crimes just to... Just, just to... Prove to somebody that you were not who you put yourself out to be. It's like, I told you this person is a criminal. All time, they don't force your name on a document. Talking about, oh, uh, uh, Maria got arrested for drunk driving. Maria got arrested for... Da, da, da. It's a nah. Listen, Maria didn't do none of that. Maria didn't do none of that. It could even be something where it's like they don't want somebody to look you up as well because they don't want... Somebody to find out what it is that's going on with you. They don't set up some type of scenario for some of you to end up either locked up in courts or something like that. And they're telling somebody, don't look this person up. Whatever you do, promise us you're not going to look this person up. And the person end up looking you up and say, oh, what the heck is going on here? They set it up that way. Just a lot of manipulation, heavy projection. Whoever behind the scene is doing something, they are not doing well. Someone's mental is not doing well. Someone's mental is out of whack. Like at any time, somebody could literally like, somebody's heart is so heavy. They're so anxious. They're so depressed. 
so they're just so miserable and desperate that they could literally like faint from anxiety. Whoever's heart I picked up on, you need to go to the hospital because your heart rate is not normal. You need to go to a psychiatrist. Talk to somebody. Go to a, a counselor. Anybody. Even if you got a, 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 a emotional support animal, talk to that sucker. Talk to somebody or something. You need help. You're not doing too well. You, you ain't doing too well, darling. It's never this serious to be trying to destroy somebody for something that belongs to them by orders of the most high like this is something god has destined for somebody i would see if whoever you were coming after was out here trying to steal from you was out here taking from people was out here destroying causing havoc in people's lives or something like they're lying on people all kinds of stuff someone is not even in your uh, uh, uh vicinity you don't even see this person around you whoever this empress is you've been coming after high priestess they're not even around you at all. Don't talk to you. Don't call you. Don't text you. Probably don't even got you. Don't, probably don't even know who you are. You could be a complete stranger to this woman. But you set something up to the point where you've made it look like this woman did something to you. You and that king of cups. The both of you are miserable as heck together. I don't know if the both of you went, both of you went and jumped the broom. And then went and started spreading lies on a feminine energy. It's all coming out. Then, dude, both of you are pathetic as heck. You, you, the King of Cups, you, the Queen of Pentacles, reverse. Both of you are reversed. Telling lies. Just lying. And about to be going through some horrendous karma. You thought your actions will never catch up to you. And I'm not even going to tell you what it is that you're about to go through. I know specific. I know by detail what it is you two are about to go through. And I'm going to let you find out for yourself. That's for me to know and for you to find out. It ain't going to be pretty. It's not going to be pretty. Okay? That facade you all have been keeping up. Oh, you're, you, you're about to have to commit yourself to that facade. Very well. Like you need to master that facade. You know when you when when you're a toxic couple behind closed doors, you're arguing all the time, calling each other's all kinds of names and things like that, can't stand each other. But the moment you step foot out that house, this is my wife, this is my wife, this is my husband. All people here is husband, 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 wife, wife, wife. But you go home, biage, mother effer, all kinds of stuff. Like that persona you all have been upkeeping. You're going to have to practice it, master it, get a PhD in it because you're about to need it. You're about to need it. Okay? You got people taking actions basically to stop you collected from receiving a contract, a work opportunity, some type of collaboration with an institution, a business, a businessman. They don't want you to receive it. Because these people don't do everything they could think of to destroy you and stop you, block you. But here it is, the Most High is still saying that you're getting what it is they said you will get. You got a contract in the ethers for this. The Most High told you, do your work, we'll do the rest. And you got out here, you did your work. Whatever your work is, whether your work was healing, whether your work is uh, going to school, whether your work is helping other people in whatever way you do, whether it's divination, whatever it is. You did your part. So the most I said, of course, we got to come through. You kept your word. We kept that. We keep our word. You co-create with us. We co-create with you. Hello. So these people, this queen of pentacles don't win and lost all her money because sis is about to be filing for bankruptcy or is going through that right now. And don't got no money coming in, coming up here. Uh, Because she was so determined. She said she thought the longer she kept paying for something, because this is someone that wants people to know she got that money, money. She said, I'm going to keep paying. I'm going to keep dashing it out. You're going to give up on your path and I'm going to get this opportunity. I'm, I'm, I'm going to get the opportunity to be out here and be the better version of you. And the universe, your ancestors looked at her like, 
Because you got us effed up and wanted too many ways. You said what now? Baby, you ain't even from our bloodline. We don't F, we don't know you. You said what now? You gonna be the who? Nah. Humble that self. So baby, four of I mean, ten of swords, two of swords, five of cups, death, five of pentacles. Baby, with the devil, girl, you're going to be going through it, but still obsessed with that empress. I don't know how that works, girl. I don't know how that works. You mean you're about to be going through all of that, but you're still going to be more focused on stalking an empress and an emperor. They ain't paying you no mind. I, they, there may be a queen of pentacles in a community they try to get a man to have an affair with and he ain't doing it listen i can't he said just just one time or maybe she tried to get him to have an affair with her and he said no i'm good it's like somebody going to a man <laughs> trying to pay him to have an affair with a woman and he said i already got my sweetheart at home or maybe I already got somebody I'm interested in. Excuse me, I had to get some water. Or they try to pay another masculine to come towards you if you're a feminine energy. And thank goodness he told them, I got a sweetheart at home. I love my baby. Exactly, sir. That part. Thank you. They say, if you go towards her, uh, she's going to, you know, you, you two can get together. You don't got to stay with her. Just gaslight her. Just play with her. She's a naive little girl. She don't know what she's talking about. She don't know nothing about love. Uh, she still thinks people out here are in love and things like true love exists and things like that. So just play with her emotions. And he'll say, uh-uh, I already got a sweetheart at home. I'm good. <laughs> Can you 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 know what kind of force you are when people gotta people will be excuse me do you know what kind of force you are when people are willing to take money out of their bank account not once not twice not not not, not three times this not four but mud like several times just to try to cause you endings and blockages to try to manipulate people to turn on you. To not try to manipulate people to turn on you. Do you know what kind of force you are for an entire family, entire institutions, communities? Okay, some of you cities, towns to come up against you. Man, you you better pat yourself on the back. You are living rent free in somebody's head or a group of people's head, a whole community's head. Baby, you better stretch and take up more room up in those heads. Like, who? Thank you. <laughs> and rent is free? Oh. I'm going to be here for a while. <laughs> you mean it's free to live in here? All I got to do is smile? All I got to do is just beat me? Oh, girl. Sir, you, you don't fold up too many times. <laughs> I'm going to be here permanently. I ain't going nowhere. <laughs> Now, since we're multifaceted as souls, I may put another aspect of myself in that other person because I got to I gotta preoccupy you all's minds at the same time. So, got to figure out how to do that. <laughs> I cannot. Anyways, Queen of Pentacles in the upright collective, that would be you. Be cautious of somebody coming towards you with some type of gaslighting uh, energy. It's like they want to come in. You know, act like they're your friend and things like that. Baby, they ain't your friend. Nobody in this collaboration besides the person you're supposed to be partnering up with possibly. Baby, that's the only one you should probably even give a few seconds of your time. So the rest of these people, baby, ain't worth your time. They're trying to come in to gaslight you so they can sabotage you. And um, they're, they're working with somebody behind the scenes. Somebody is sending them. They say, I need you to go to this Queen of Pentacles. This, this, this. Darcy and all, whatever the heck they call themselves, and see if you can get in a relationship with them so that he doesn't go to work. He said, that mother sucker already know we're coming. Before we even bust a move, they know what it is we're planning. We've been out here having empty victories, and this mother sucker can see everything we're doing, 
They, they, they're just choosing not to freaking react. And you want me to go make a fool out of myself? I ain't doing it. I ain't doing it. You know what? We're going to go to the King of Cups and the Queen of Pentacles that told us all this lie about these people. That's what we need to be handling. We need to be talking to them. Serving them karma. Because that mother sucker, that star C, nah. We don't need to be messing with him or her. <laughs> okay? So, comes into karma for the King of Cups and the Queen of Pentacles. And I'm going to leave their karma there. So they can find out what's about to happen. Okay? So, you... Bottom line, it bottom line is, excuse me, bottom line is, honey, you're getting whatever the universe has destined for you. Whether it is from this gentleman or from somebody else, you're getting your birthright. Sometimes the universe will do something like this, allow something like this, just to cause an illusion. It's like they're so focused on blocking this one thing for you, but whatever you're meant to get, nobody knows about. And they'll never find out about. Never. So it's like they're not able to get ahead of you to stop it. Because this is what these kind of low vibrational people do. It's like they get ahead so they can find out what your plans are. So they can sabotage it. And that's how they keep you stuck in poverty, in light, in scarcity, and things like that. So the universe will stay discreet. They say, you don't know what it is we got planned for this person. And you think you're going to be here tomorrow to keep causing problems. You don't even know tomorrow's your last day here on earth. You're about to, you coming back home. You're about to go to sleep. So they can sit down and plan everything they want. Say, you know, that's so cute. Are you planning the end, how to keep our star seed stuck? That's so cute. When you go to bed tonight, baby, that's it. You ain't getting back up. You ain't getting back up. And that star seed, we told them not to, you know, misuse your gifts and things like that. But if they decide to go buck wild on you, we can't do nothing because it's justifiable. If they decide to visit you in your sleep, listen, we can't, we ain't even going to try to stop them. Talking about, hi, Billy. Okay, it's time to say those three words. This is it for you, okay? You ready? I'm about to say them. You ready? Okay. Because you, you, you're being busy out here in the physical. Because you know you got people out there, so you feel invincible. But here in the spirit, Billy, I'm the real goon, okay? My people and I, we move like goons in the spirit. So, yeah, you go night-night. Everybody go night-night. Okay, in your lineage. Come on. You're playing with hot water. You're stepping in fire and you don't know it. Some of the people y'all all be coming for, you don't even know what they're capable of doing. You don't know what they're capable of doing. So when you're coming after light workers and they decide I'm not going to do nothing, that's because they've been told not to. They've been told do nothing. That's why they're doing nothing. But if they choose to retaliate, you go to sleep and you ain't waking back up. You're not. Some of you play with magic, but you don't know magic. You only know how to manipulate. Some people can just say one word to you and you're cursed for life. Your life can go from being abundant. You don't go. On, you, you go from a ten of pentacles. Literally last week, this week, you're in a five of pentacles and it's going to a four of pentacles. And you don't even know how it keeps getting worse. Now you're in a two of pentacles. <coughs> trying to figure out how you're going to make ends meet and stuff. He said, hey, just a month ago, I, I was a business owner. Just a month ago, I, I was a millionaire. What, what the heck happened? I don't even got a dollar in my bank account. You've been cursed. So be careful with the energies you mess with. Some of you, you, you you're you bothered by spirituality. You can be bothered by it all you want. But keep your bothersome energy over there with you. Stop fooling with people. Because sometimes you're looking to make people snap. But when they snap, they're not going to snap in the way that you want them to. They're going to snap in a way where it affects you to you don't wake up or you wake up different. Like you wake up sick. Nobody knows how this mysterious sickness came about. It just came about. Stop push. Stop trying to push people. You try to... Like, you, you all are, 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 I don't know what it is to, to even say to you. Because you go out of your way to 
temper with people's energies. You go out of your way to cause people endings. You go out of your ways to, 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 to separate families, destroy families, destroy lives. All because you want to see somebody else hurt. You want to see somebody crying. You want to see somebody physically in pain and distress and things like that, which means that you are sick mentally and emotionally. You're sick. You're unstable. But all those emotions, those physical reactions you're trying to get out of somebody, uh, sometimes that's not what you're going to get. What you're going to get is a visit from somebody in the sleep state. You don't know what you're playing with. You're out manipulating. That's not magic. You're out being deceitful. Deception is not magic. Those are card tricks. Okay? Deception is not magic. So I, I don't know why you all think because you come out here and you can uh, uh, cheat, kill, destroy, and things like that, then that makes you makes you magical. That then that means you're gifted. That's those are not gifts. You're just manipulative. You're deceptive. It's not edgy. It's stupid as heck. You, you're literally saying being a bully is being magical. It's not magical. That's being stupid. Excuse my French. That's stupid. Excuse my Spanish. You're being stupid. Bullying is not magical. There's nothing magical about it. It says more about you as a person, your character, than it says about the other person you're doing it to. You want to prove that you're the big bad wolf, so you're going to go bully somebody that probably can't even fight back or something or just is not paying you any mind. Either or, you look stupid as heck. What's wrong with you all? What are you doing with your lives and time? You ain't getting younger like the rest of us. We ain't getting younger. Find something productive to do with your time. You're not getting somebody's destiny. You're not getting somebody's con uh, universal contract. Nothing is being changed in the ethers to be taken from somebody to be given to you. It don't belong to you. It don't resonate with your energy. You can pretend to be an empress all you want. You're not getting somebody's birthright. If you got married to somebody... Because I picked up on that. Someone got in, went and got married to a masculine and they thought that was somebody's twin flame. That was not that person's twin flame. That was not their twin flame. Some You don't even know who somebody's twin flame is. So you don't went and got married to a man because he had money. And you didn't want this man to be with the empress. Because you thought they were twin flames and you thought if they got married, if you two got married, then it would break the Empress's heart. And the Empress is looking at, well, that ain't my twin flame. I don't know who that is. But congratulations on your marriage. Like, you, you, you don't put yourself in a horrendous situation. And the woman you are trying to hurt is more than likely a high priestess. And she already knows the future of your relationship with that man. You don't know it yet. But you're bound to find out. And she's going to be sitting there and watching you. What is wrong with you people? You're so desperate to... to my, my twin flame, my twin... Didn't I tell y'all? Light workers don't care about twin flames. You didn't get married to somebody's twin flame. What he more than likely is, is just like a soul companion. Like they're part of the same soul group. So they are aware of each other. Maybe the both of them met so that she could cause some type of awakening. So there's something she sparked in that man. That was it for her. That was her contract with him. It wasn't meant for them to be together. But it's a woman out here. She thinks that she took somebody's twin flame. You didn't take nobody's twin flame, darling. I've been looking into this energy. You didn't take nobody's twin flame. You took a man that was available to you. And whoever you are you were trying to stop him from getting with was not even on the menu for this man. So I don't know what it is. Girl, what are your what are you all doing out here? 
just to have a man. That's not her twin flame. You can have him, though. Obviously, that's not her twin flame. I looked into that energy. I'm like, what the heck is this nonsense? <laughs> Do you mean she went and got married to this man just so, what, he wouldn't be with his twin flame that's not his twin flame? They're not twin flames, darling. You miscalculated, and you don't put yourself in a really horrible situation, and you're bound to find out what's about to happen. Y'all can keep coming out here telling these lies. Someone did this. They, they, they slept with my husband. They're uh, they're in a three-way uh, relationship with us. They did this and did that. Ain't none of that from this uh, going to stick. But I want you to know it's karma for every lie that you told. Every lie you told, you will be held accountable. And you're going to have to confess every last one of them and say, no. It's a, it was a lie. No, that was a lie. But you said, no, that was a lie. And you said, no, that was a lie too. Oh my gosh. And then that day you told me, no, that was a lie too, Maria. And then when when when, we, when you had said that about that, that was a lie too. Was anything true? No. Dang. She didn't sleep with my man. She didn't break up our relationship. I was the side piece in the uh, situation. She left, but while we were, while they were together, um, I was dating him. I was sleeping with him. Um, yeah. Are you are you freaking serious? <laughs> so you mean this whole time the side piece has been pretending to be the the the, the actual mean person, the mean woman? Yeah. But anyways, like I said, you didn't you didn't take somebody's twin flame because whoever you were trying to block, they're still going to be with their twin flame or higher level soap me, whatever you want to say. And the both of them are going to be working together. We we got the four of wands to the two of cups, three of pentacles. Abundant relationship that's gonna involve work as well. They're gonna be working together, being in love and things like that. So Baby, I don't know what to tell you. And the both of them are going to be obsessed with one another. So I don't know what to tell you, darling. Whoever you took, uh, good, uh, good luck. Win twice if you need help so we can send you help. Because, yeah. Now, I don't know if it's you that need to win twice um, if you need help. Or it's him that's going to need to win twice if he needs help. But either way, you all go ahead and keep winking. We'll send you help. We're going to call nine, you, you know, the, the 900 number. I don't want to say it on here. You know that number that we dial in the, in the United States when we need help. Yeah, we'll, we'll dial it for you and let them know that there's a gentleman in distress or there's a a, 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 a lady in distress uh, because they got with the wrong person. They thought it was stealing somebody's twin flame, but it turned out that they weren't even twin flames. They were just soul companions, meaning they're in the same friendship group. In the spirit realm, yeah. Uh, baby, I need to understand spirituality first before you get out here trying to steal men. Oh, baby. <laughs> what I looked. I'm, try I'm so sorry, ma'am. I ain't mean to laugh at you. I ain't mean to laugh at you, but it's just so funny. The, the, the length some women will go to to get a man to be seen as better than another woman, to see, be seen as the better option. He said, if I wear this short dress and it's all fitted, he's going to see my, uh, 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 my, my, my petunia and he's going to fall in love and he's going to choose me over her. And the whole time the empress is laying at home on her couch in some pajamas. I'm like, huh, ah, I think I'm going to go get some donuts or something <laughs> from the kitchen and come lay right back in this bed. I need a sweater. Where's my sweater at? I like that pink sweater. I don't know where I put that pink sweater. They ain't thinking about <laughs> <laughs> I ain't thinking about nothing that you guys got going on. But you're so desperate out here to prove that you are an angelic couple. You're a divine couple. Toxic as can be arguing all day. Listen, I'm, let me get up out of your ass mess because I'm sick of the, 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 the nonsense, the rhetoric of it all. <laughs> yeah. I, got, I got her twin flame. I got her twin <laughs> Whole time the 
both of them are miserable as heck together. Anyways, thank you for watching, folks. Stay blessed. I'll see you in the next read. <laughs> Goodbye for now.